So when we use the term complex life, we're referring to life that is multicellular and not just a clump of cells stuck together, which bacteria can do, but a clump of cells that are stuck together that are communicating with each other in complex ways. They're, they may be physically joined to each other and they send chemical signals back and forth to each other and coordinate their growth and their movement in a way that is uh, for the benefit of the entire organism. So complex life can refer to animals, but it can also refer to, say, a mushroom, which is a fungus, or a tree, which is definitely complex and is a plant. We're not really sure why complex life evolved, but there are a number of different hypotheses that we debate as scientists. One hypothesis is that uh, life decided to get big so it wouldn't get eaten by other life. So if you're a single-celled organism and there's a bigger single-celled organism out to get you, there's not much you can do about it. But if you're an aggregate of cells and that single-celled predator comes up to you, he's not going to be able to eat you because you're just too big. So that's uh, one of the main reasons why we think life decided to become more than one cell was to prevent being eaten 